After finishing with the base settings for our skin, we move on to the Tags tab. Here we can see three more tabs at the top. Tags, Categories and Settings. Let's start with a look at the tag settings. These settings will later apply to all the tags in the tour. With our tag distance filter, we can automatically hide tags outside of a certain radius. They can either be partially or completely hidden or faded. The filter radius can be defined in meters. The transparency of the hidden tags can also be adjusted so that they are, for example, still visible but slightly transparent. With Hide Matter Tags in Dollhouse view, we can turn on or off the visibility of tags in the dollhouse. Tag docking of info points with the standard Matterport view can also be disabled here, but only for desktop. The tag slider, which allows you to jump from tag to tag using arrows, can also be turned off here. Please note, tag docking settings only apply to info points with the standard Matterport view, not to tags configured as pop-up in MPSkin. Lastly, we can choose whether users should automatically jump to the corresponding tag location when clicking on a tag. Now, let's head back to the main section, the Tags tab. To start off, we have two options. If we've already created tags for a tour directly in Matterport, we can import them into MPSkin using the button in the upper right corner. This import is only possible when no tags have previously been created in MPSkin. Please note, a subsequent synchronization of the tags is not possible after the initial import from Matterport. I recommend importing the tags from Matterport once and then continuing to edit them exclusively in MPSkin. If no tags have previously been created in Matterport, we click on Tag Editor to start creating new tags. First, we navigate to the position we want to place the tag in. Then, we click the big green plus button at the bottom. A new tag will now be generated and we can position it as desired. After placing the tag, our input mask opens up. In the Media tab, we can select the type and display method of our new tag. Depending on the selected media type, different options appear as media link target. Let's take a closer look at each option. Under Text, we can create a simple text info point. Here we can choose from two views. The classic Matterport info point view or the pop-up. If you choose Matterport info point, Tags can be displayed with the tag slider and the tag docking. However, this view is heavily dependent on Matterport and is less customizable. With the option Pop-up, the pop-up is configured entirely in MPSkin and can be fully customized, for example by changing the text and background color or the pop-up size. Title on mouse over enables and disables the visibility of the tag title on mouse over. In the Content tab, we add a title and text for each selected language. If pop-up has been selected as the media link target, we can use HTML in this text field, for example, to implement our own fonts. Let's try it out together. In both tag views, hyperlinks can be added to the text. Afterwards, we can further customize our tag under icon stem. For example, by removing the stem, changing the color of the icon, selecting another icon or uploading one ourselves. We click on save and check out the result. Using the buttons at the center bottom, we can reposition our previously set tags, delete them and adjust the height of the stem by using the slider. 
All we have to do is to select the desired tag beforehand. Now let's create a photo tag. In addition to the Matterport view and the pop-up, a third option now appears for Media Link Target. New tab. This will open a new tab when the tag is clicked. Images can either be hosted and embedded with a link, uploaded or selected from the media library. We can configure one photo for all languages or one for each language. Once again, a title and text can be entered in the Content tab. Next, we create a photo gallery. We start by generating a new tag and selecting Photo Gallery. In this case, the display type is always pop-up. With New, we add a new photo. As usual, you can use one photo for all languages or upload a separate one for each language. For each photo, you can add your own title and text. Now, we add more photos. With the arrows on the left, we can change the order of the images. The finished photo gallery looks like this. As you can see, all images are displayed with a slider. We continue with video. Here we see all three media link targets again. The standard Matterport view, pop-up and new tab. Videos can be hosted online and embedded with a link, so that they can be played at the best possible loading speed. Additional text content can also be entered. Let's have a look at the preview. With just a few clicks, audio files can also be added to tags, but once again, only as a pop-up. The file hosting options are a link, upload or selection from the media library. Always make sure that your audio files are in MP3 format, as other formats are not supported. Other than that, we can once again select one audio per language if needed. Unfortunately, we can only enter a title with this option, not a description text. If we want to place a PDF inside a tag, we can choose from three different display types. To make sure that your PDF will be displayed correctly on all devices, we recommend choosing the pop-up setting. In that case, our native PDF reader will be used. With the native Matterport view, loading errors can sometimes occur, which is why we recommend to use the pop-up setting. When creating a panorama tag, we see a new option next to pop-up and new tab. Same tab. The panorama image can be selected from the list of images previously uploaded in the panorama tab. 
This allows you to add hotspots to your panorama. For more on this, check out our panorama tutorial. With external link, we can embed external links like websites, other tours, newsletter sign-up forms and more. Please note that the external website must allow link embedding in order to be displayed in MPSkin. To do this, you might need to contact the admin of the respective website. The HTML option allows you to include HTML code in a tag, without any restrictions. With this powerful tool, there are no limits to your own creativity. Everything can be personalized and customized. If you have an HTML expert at hand, you can even use this option to integrate custom features like chat support, login forms or to create games inside your tour. To do this, simply click on HTML in the Content tab and paste your code into it. Let's now leave the editor and move on to the Categories tab. Here you can create tag categories, for example to group up different tags and display them in the menu together. Let's have a look at an example. In the tour itself, it looks like this. As you can see, entire categories of tags can be displayed and also hidden. When configuring a new tag, one or several categories can be selected for each tag under Categories in our input mask. Alternatively, one or multiple tags can be selected directly in the overview and assigned to a category. Please note that the categories must be created in advance. If no categories are created, we see Uncategorized tags as our only option. Selecting this category can be useful if we simply wish to display all tags in the menu. Now let's return to the Tags Overview. Here we see an overview of all the previously created tags. Thanks to the Quick Edit feature, we can quickly and easily adjust the tag content directly in the overview. Using the search bar up top, we can search for specific tags or filter them under Floor. If we have created tag categories, we can also filter them by category. The orange Change Icons Color button allows us to change the color and icon settings of multiple tags with just one click. Please note that all listed tags are edited with this button. If you only want to edit certain tags, you can use the filter function to only edit tags in a certain category, for example. If we haven't created any categories or have one category selected, we see arrows that allow us to change the order of our tags. We can also sort them alphabetically. This way, they can be displayed in the menu in a specific order. 
Lastly, for Pro users, there is an Export Import Tags button in the upper right corner, which allows us to export and import tag data as a CSV file. This feature is especially useful for large projects with many tags where content needs to be updated regularly.